this is a story about my granddad, my friends, Rosie, Sam and Katie, and our incredible time travelling adventure on the Arctic Corsair. The Arctic Corsair is a ship that my granddad sailed long ago to catch some fish to go with chips. He'd sail from Hull to Greenland, Iceland and more, sailing over massive waves through rain and wind and snow. Everybody. Welcome to the Arctic Corsair, shipmates! Oh, 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 what? oh wow, it's a trawler! Well, that's not a trawler, it's a whaler! Hello, Beans! Hello, Alan! Hello, children! No, the Albert! Where are you going? The day had a steam into Baffin Bay, maybe to catch a whale. Watch out for the eyes! Aye aye, we will, fat shipmates. See you later! But Grandad, some of the crew of the Diana died in the ice. I read about it, look, in 1886. It was a ghost ship! Ow! That ain't a ghost ship, young shipmates. We're travelling back in time to see some of the heroes who made all great. How does it work? First of all, we need a memorable event that happened here in Hull. How about the start of the Civil War? Right up. Let's die on that in. 1642. Now set the engines. Hold on to your hats. about to meet our first rebellious hero, John Hotham. Open the gates in the name of the King! The King? King Charles I. I durst not open these gates. You are too great in number. All right. I bring 20 of my finest men. Oh no, that won't be necessary. Come down and speak with me. No thank you, your majesty. You might kill me. I'll return at four, four of the clock. Why does he not want the king to come in, Grandad? Well, Lily. Governor John Otham was appointed to protect the large store of weapons inside the walls of Hull. He said that he'd not let them fall into anyone's hands, even those of a king. Open up in the name of King Charles! Never, Your Majesty! I'm the Governor and have been entrusted by Parliament for the safety of the town. This gross act of, of dis... dis... Disobedience towards your sovereign is likely to cause war. Well, let's get out of this place. Arrgh. Traitor! Grandad, where are you taking us now? You'll see. Ah, 1930. Here we are. Oh, wow. That's William Wilberforce's statue. He's my hero. Aye, what a great bloke. 
He changed the lives of thousands of enslaved people. It is the true duty of every man to promote the happiness of his fellow creatures to the utmost of his power. Wow, he really is my hero now. Oh, Rosie, see who it is. What's her? Anyone for a lift? Amy Johnson! That's me! I hope we're off to Australia. Next stop, Darwin. Rose is in the middle of World War II. Timmy, go and find her. Grandad? Grandad? thought I was gonna. Are you alright? Yes, thanks to your dog. <laughs> I'm William. William Body. I'm Rosie. What happened here? Don't you know? The Germans have been bombing us each night for a week now. Look, look Rosie. Everything's in ruins. How can people survive this? Come along, children. We must hurry to catch the train before more bombs are dropped on the city. I'm really scared. I don't want to say goodbye to my friends. Don't give in, William. The city can be rebuilt. But they'll need shops to buy things in. Places to go have fun. Yes, like theatres and museums. And beautiful gardens where they can forget the bombing. You tell them, William. You can rebuild this wonderful city. Ah, children! There you are! My goodness! I thought we'd lost you! I think it's time we all went home. Our William turns into quite a hero, Rosie. People of Hull, today is the day we stop playing the Germans' little games and we fight back. After these five devastating years, thousands of our homes may be damaged but the spirit of Hull remains strong. We will rebuild this historic city and make it the envy of the world. Look at our great city. It's grand, isn't it? Oh, Bob Carver's. Oh, I love that fish and chips. I'm really proud of my granddad, an all Hull sailing crew. I'm proud of how they made Hull great and made it special for you. Left school on Friday, started work on Saturday to catch the early tide and be a galley boy's me plan. On the fishing grounds to roam, 1800 miles from home, proving to myself that I'm a man. 